Good morning, lockdown. How's everybody doing today? Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Favorite Album of the Year. Today we have arrived at 1971, which, uh, you know, normally I would have liked to have gotten this video to you much earlier this morning, but, you know, I have been debating this one all morning, and I'm still not quite sure of my pick. Here we are, 30 seconds into the video already, and I... This is probably going to be the hardest one out of all of them. Uh, you know, I thought 69 was going to be tough. I thought 70 was going to be tough. Um, nothing prepared me for the ridiculous number of immensely classic and legendary albums from 1971. So many that are among my favorites from each of the bands. And, you know, so many of these bands were releasing two albums a year at this point. So it's just uh, it's just crazy how many classic, classic, classic albums came out in this calendar year. So many of them. You know, I'm like really torn. I'm really torn because one of my picks is from one of my favorite bands of all time. Another pick is by a band that I know a lot of people are going to go with. And it's also a favorite band of mine, and it's an album that I really love by them. There's another one by another group that um, probably their most well-known album. It's not my favorite album by them, but it's a damn near perfect album, and I love it. Another favorite band of mine has got like a couple kick-ass releases in this calendar year, one of which is probably my favorite album by them. Uh, another classic rock and roll band who released probably my favorite album by them in this year uh, it's just so many great ones so many great ones uh like i said i i have both of my choices which are fighting for the number one spot are sitting here right next to me and i still right now do not know which one i'm gonna go with but i gotta make a choice right just like we all do gotta make a choice and no it would not be any easier to pick five or ten because there's so many i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna actually list off all the ones that i was considering once i reveal my my pick uh, just so you know how tough this 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 year was. Really, really tough. All right. Um, I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with my gut because I think my gut is telling me that, Pete, you just cannot pick against Black Sabbath Master of Reality for 1971. You all know how much I love Black Sabbath. I do love this album a lot. It's easily one of my favorite Sabbath. It's not my favorite Sabbath album, but it's it's up there. It's definitely like a top three or four, you know. Sweet Leaf, After Forever is uh, I love After Forever, Children of the Grave, Lord of This World, Solitude Into the Void. I mean, you know, yeah, there's a couple little short kind of instrumental bits here. That's kind of they're kind of like you know whatever. But uh, man, the rest of it is just bruising, heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. You know, maybe the birth of stoner, stoner rock or stoner metal right here, folks. Legendary album. You know, there's probably, on my runner-up, there's probably more legendary-ish tracks. <clears throat> but the reason I went with Sabbath, A, because I, they're just they're my band, you know. Um, not that the other band isn't. But uh, the reason I went with one and not the other is, I think, because my runner-up has a couple tracks on it that I just, eh, I'm not really that crazy about. Um, and, you know one track that is immensely popular that I never need to hear again, and another track that is immensely popular that I still like hearing. But, you know, Led Zeppelin 4, Led Zeppelin Untitled, whatever you want to call it. You know, Black Dog, love Black Dog. Never need to hear rock and roll again. I know some people hate when I say that, but I just, I'm just not into rock and roll. Stairway to Heaven, it's still Stairway, it's still great. You know, going to California, eh, don't really care about. When the Libby Breaks is, cra is crazy good. You know, Battle of Evermore, crazy good, you know, Four Sticks, great stuff on there. But I think for me, for me, Master of Reality just, just edges it, okay? But, you know, tomorrow I could say something different. But for today, it's a really tough choice, really tough choice. And so you want to, you want to, just, just so you guys know, and again, this is not an exhaustive list. These are just some of my favorites from this calendar year, all right? Some ridiculous, ridiculous albums here. The Who, Who's Next? ZZ Top's first album, Uriah Heep, Salisbury, and Look at Yourself. Yes, the Yes album, and Fragile. 
Cactus, one way or another. Miles Davis, Jack Johnson, my favorite Miles Davis album. Alice Cooper, Love It to Death, and Killer. Okay. What would have been my number three pick? Jethro Tull's Aqualung. Allman Brothers Band at the Fillmore East, another contender, right? Humble Pie, Rock On, and Rock in the Fillmore. The Doors, L.A. Woman. Procol Harum, Broken Barricades, Blood Rock, Three, Grand Funk Railroad, Survival, and my favorite Grand Funk album, E Pluribus Funk. Okay. ELP, Tarkus, as well as Pictures in an Exhibition. Budgie, self titled first album. Gentle Giant, Acquiring the Taste. Deep Purple Fireball. Mahavishnu Orchestra, Intermounting Flame, Ten Years After, A Space and Time, Santana, their third album, Wishbone Ash, Pilgrimage, Golden Earring, Seven Tears, Hawkwind, In Search of Space, Pink Floyd, Metal, for crying out loud, Jeff Beck Group, Rough and Ready, Vandegraaff Generator, Porn Hearts, Elton John, Mad Men Across the Water, Genesis, Nursery Crime, what else? David Bowie, Hunky Dory, King Crimson Islands, and probably my number four pick would have been Sticky Fingers by the Rolling Stones. And that's not even scratching the surface, those ones that I just listed. So a ridiculous year with so many great albums. Man, you could just you could just do a show alone talking about all the great, never mind picking any, just talking about all the great albums from 1971. It's just out of control good, out of control. So there you have it. Master of Reality, my pick for album of the year, 1971. Is 1972 going to be as tough? God, I hope not. But I'm, I bet you it will be. Anyway, this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up, Jack Toledano and I getting together to do our top 25 hits of the 80s, radio hits, radio and MTV hits of the 80s. You don't want to miss that. Also, later today, Rory Gallagher ranking the stu- ranking the albums. I think I'm just going to do a ranking the album show. I'm going to do the studio albums and the live albums kind of separate in one show. So that's coming up as well. Um, and we'll see what else we can squeeze in. All right. So uh, you may or may not get a Monsters Den today. The weather's too nice. I may uh, I may skip the Monsters Den for this weekend or catch up like during the week. Do it one night this week. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, we'll see. Or maybe I'll squeeze one in later. We'll see how it goes. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, let us know your pick for album of the year for 1971 your favorite release of 1971 is a banner year a lot of great releases let us know see you soon bye-bye